Okay, this uh, this video will talk about the the role of mute Y in the in the OG uh, DNA repair pathway. So we'll we'll start um, with a strand of, of DNA that has an OG nucleotide. It gets here uh, from a, a regular GC base pair. G is especially prone to attack by uh, reactive oxygen species, and so it can become oxidized. And when DNA polymerase is using this strand as a template to make the daughter strand, at, at this location, the OG can, can template the addition of cytosine, um, or it can mispair with adenine. So we'll draw in that mispair event. Uh, and, and this is uh, the OGA lesion, a site of DNA damage. And the reason why this is problematic is that um, that it, it with with another round of replication, uh, so now we're using the A containing strand as as the template. Uh, DNA polymerase will 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 not hesitate, but put a T the, the, to make a Watson Quick Franklin base pair at, at this site. And now and now what what used to be an OG or a GC base pair has become a TA mutation. So this, uh, we'll, we'll label this thing here as the mutation. And the, the role of mute Y is to prevent these mutations from, from happening. So we'll put mute Y here at the center. It is uh, blocking the formation of these mutations by catalyzing uh, the removal of the adenine from these OGA mispairs. And, and the the immediate product of, of mute Y is to create uh, an apurinic, apyrimidinic site, so an AP site, where there's no base attached to the DNA across from the OG. And uh, then with uh, DNA repair, general DNA repair enzymes, uh, we can restore an OGC base pair, which is still uh, problematic uh, in that the, the guanine is oxidized. But there's another enzyme called MUTE-M in bacteria, uh, or HOG1 in humans, that removes the OG, also creating an apyrinic, apyrimidinic site. And then these same generalist uh, DNA repair enzymes can, can now repair the AP site to create the, the original information, which was a, a GC. So this is now DNA that's been repaired. And uh, mute Y is like the last line of defense uh, to prevent a GC from turning into a, a TA uh, transversion mutation. And uh, when this enzyme underperforms in humans, you're at risk for getting getting cancer, especially colon cancer. Uh, uh, and in bacteria, you'll have a, a high mutational burden, uh, which is uh, generally mal maladaptive. So mute Y is very important for uh, preventing the accumulation of mutations and, and protecting the genome.